Earl and Robin Pinkston. We serve here in Malta with the International Mission Board and are thankful that God has called us and we have the opportunity to serve um, alongside each other and with our, our family, our three kiddos. Most Maltese people, when you meet them and speak with them, would know who Jesus is. But most Maltese people don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. It doesn't go past checking the box of going to Mass or giving money. Over the weekend, we have four meetings at the church. On Friday night, we have a Maltese worship time where we gather to encourage one another, sing and pray. And then on a Sunday, we have three meetings. On Sunday morning at 9.45, we have primarily, it's an English worship service. We do incorporate some Maltese singing, prayer, scripture reading. Even though we're on Malta, uh, God has surprised us by doing a work among Nepalese brothers and sisters. So there's a Nepalese service in the afternoon. And then in the evening, an English small group. And for some people, that's their church. They gather with us for that English small group meeting on Sunday evening. My name is Edwin, this is my wife uh, Sylvia. We always lived in Malta, we are Maltese. And we started actually the first Maltese church in 1986. Today, almost 25 years later, I usually say this, I said, if I had to manufacture a couple, I wouldn't have done a better job. <laughs> so Earl and Robin have been a great blessing. So in Maltese government school systems, when you are 16, you graduate. And our kids were planning to head towards the United States for a university, but they were 16, you know, they weren't mm. really ready to launch into live in America and be in university yet. So I used to say I would never send my kids to boarding school, but um, Catherine actually uh, came to us saying, I'd love to go to BFA, and she flourished. She was where she was supposed to be. It was just such a special time to be there for the opening of school. And that flag ceremony and seeing that yeah. all the nations represented. Like yeah. It's just and seeing those kids, you know, carrying all the flags and seeing the Maltese flag carried in. Yeah. Uh, both times I've seen it really touched me. We're so grateful for something like Black Forest Academy that uh, helps or helped us here in Malta for Earl and Robin to be able to stay here and uh, their children are being cared for academically for their uh, future, so thank you. We would love to see disciples in every Maltese village. We would also love to see them go to the nations either by investing in foreign nationals who are here from closed countries and from other countries, or even going out to the nations.